Sagittarius, welcome to your new moon in Aquarius reading, which is happening the 21st. But it's always, you know, a few days before, and it will happen throughout Aquarius season. So we're going to see what is coming towards you, what messages need to come out. I am still doing those two free 15 to 30 minute readings. At the end of the month, I will be reaching out to two people randomly. So for those of you that are interested and are new, go ahead and subscribe. I do these monthly giveaways, um, readings, sometimes gift cards, but this month will be two 30, up to 30 minute readings. And it will be of your choice, love, general message from spirit year ahead whatever you would like um, all you need to do returning and new viewers is leave a snowflake emoji in the comment section of every reading and then i will randomly choose two people make sure your notifications are on because i'll initially be reaching out to you through youtube and if for any time you would like a personal reading and for me to tune in to just your energy head over to my etsy shop the link is down below um if for any reason it says you know, it's on vacation mode because I'm catching up on readings. I am catching up on readings, but send me a message through Etsy. It'll say message seller. Let me know you're from YouTube and I will open it back up so you can check it out, make your purchase. And then we're just going to close it back up just for right now, only because I am uh, a little overwhelmed. I took a little bit of time off before the holidays and it's like everybody hit me at one time, which is fine but I just want to be in the best energy to deliver all the readings. All right. So Sagittarius for your new moon, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. No doubt. Anybody that's causing you drama, if you find that there's negative energy around you, sage that shit out of your life. Sage it, cleanse it out of your life. Let go of any energy that's around you that's negative. Even if you go to see your mom and she seems like, you know, Debbie Downer and I have a headache or, you know, just woe is me, which is sometimes the energy my mom is in. You know, just say, you know what, mom? Um, I'll talk to you later. And just give her a kiss and, and walk out. But just release any negativity that's around you. Mending. Maybe there has been a disagreement between you and someone very special to you. And it needs to be let go of. And allow mending to happen. Could be a family member. Could be a love interest. I just totally screwed this <laughs> shuffle up. So let me get that back together. Um... Could be a love interest, could even be a co-worker. And it doesn't have to be a recent disagreement. This could be something that's been long-term, and now's the time Spirit is saying to let it go. I do feel like there has been an ending with someone. All right, let's see. Your energy, the High Priestess, staying in your power. Sagittarius, I feel like you are staying silent towards someone. There needs to be a heart to heart. There needs to be things revealed, but you're staying silent in the moment. I feel like somebody might have lied to you, broken your trust. All right. In the now energy, the full. See, now is the time to take that leap of faith. In the near future, a tower moment, and I will definitely clarify that. Something very sudden happens that you don't expect. Damn, you have three major arcana here. Distant future, there is balance being restored. Harmony. Fairness. Could be dealing with a Libra. But let's say you're... Three major arcana. So what I got to tell you is, this is divinely guided. There is more going on here that meets the eye. All right, let's see. 
clarifying the fool. Yep, there is going to be a message. Either someone's taking a leap of faith towards you or you're taking a leap of faith towards them. However, I feel like there's there's got to be some mending going on. Seven of Cups. All right, where I feel where you were not made a priority, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers, take it how it resonates. May have to switch the energies. Is this hot? Where you were not made a priority. And as I just touched that, it was, I feel like something, like there's going to be a, someone's coming in very hot for you. It's like they're ready to make a choice. They're ready to, you know, and it, it doesn't have to be like they had other offers. They could have had things that they needed to take care of, things that they needed to figure out. But I feel like someone's coming in, making you a priority. Yeah, see, it's like you're feeling at a loss. Like on, you're on the outside looking in. But in the distance, there is going to be that mending and balance restored. Could be a fire sign. It could be um, a Libra with fire in their chart. But we also have water and earths here, here so... But I really feel like you may be the one that takes this leap of faith. All right, let's see. See, there's that seven of cups again. Needing to make a decision. Prioritizing. It really could be with a family member, guys. Or someone that feels like home. There was a hard ending. You both are in your head about this. All right, let's see. Could be with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Wanting union with you. Wanting to restore the balance. Yes, yeah, someone's traveling towards you. They feel alone without you too. It's going to, I feel like you're going to be shocked at their message, shocked at their, their movement towards you, their communication. I just heard brother. So for those of you that are on the outs with your brother and you're missing them, I, I feel like they're missing you too. But I feel like where somebody was closed off, closed off communication, protecting your hearts, you're coming in with your heart completely open for this communication. All right, let's see. Why is the five of pentacles here twice, spirit? Yeah, see, you're releasing the burdens. Ten of wands in reverse. You're releasing them burdens and restoring the happiness. And why is the King of Pentacles here and the King of Cups? For those of you that it's in terms of love, you very well, or they may very well, depending on who this is, um, cross watchers, you may have ha you may have somebody else. Sagittarius, you may have somebody else. I feel like there is an extra energy here, and a decision is going to need to be made. And what I have to say about that is follow your heart. Where you are constantly thinking about someone, where there needs to be an amends. Where you're missing someone. It's possible you've already started dating or moved on. And so may they have. But I feel like there is going to be a confession of love here. 
Now, for those of you that it's not about love, I feel like there's two people, family members, friendship, that you are missing each other tremendously. And that the mending is going to start very soon. The communication is going to happen very soon with the Eight of Wands in the now position. All right, please clarify for my Sagittarius's. See, family room. For some of you, it's definitely family. Main female. And for some of you, like I said, it's going to be, you know, you know, somebody having somebody else and realizing they want to be with the other person. See, house and home, family room, main male. Wow. Message of concern. Damn. All right, guys. So there is definitely going to be a brand new beginning, a mending. For some of you, it is going to be a relationship. We have the main female, the main male, and a message of concern. There is going to be communication. Others of you, it's going to be a family member, a friend that feels like family, and mending needs to happen. However, in whatever situation, it's going to be the burden released because you're missing one another. The burdens are going to be put to the side and the communication will happen. All right, for my Sagittarians. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign or that, like I said, they have air in their chart. Two people that have been on odds with one another are now going to turn around and be completely open. Definitely spend some time in time out. Getting balance within yourself individually and them too. So that when you come back, it's that healing energy. Definitely could be an air sign. We have water, air, and earth. A fire too. So like I said, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. All right. Fortress. Fortitude. Staying in your power. Somebody could have been stubborn here. Sealed off. But now it's like putting down that, what is it called? That drawbridge, I guess. Is that what it's called? But putting that down now, being a, being open for this communication. All right, Sagittarius, let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. There's definitely a mending happening, which makes my heart happy. All right, stay safe.